Welcome to episode 91 of a Football Manager Hobo to Hero series, not playthrough. Well, um, for today I figured we wouldn't have a stream because I was occupied. Turns out real life had a different opinion, so now I'm not occupied. And we can have a stream, a short one at least, because I'm somewhat tired because I spent most of the di uh, time today on the road. I also um, clicked around the messages already here. So we will review this on a second. Um, why did I do that? Well, um, I ran the the player faces uh, stuff again because we had some uh, AI, no, not AI generated, I guess um, game generated eggheads and I wanted the AI faces in there. That's it. So yeah, thanks to the new gen team in that case. So now, I can present you with the new face of Azri Hadi. He certainly looks like a human being at this point. That's not bad. Also, we have messages about the training performances. They seem to be rather good overall. Um, there's a message here about Sararaki Madrid entering the AFC Cup race. So apparently AFC Cup is what's going on in second place, I think. Yeah. I'm not familiar with that one. Not at all. And then we have the results from the remainder of the league. Well, including ours. So Pukitambun lost to Cushing. That's unsurprising. Keda lost to Chorodi T. Okay, Lantan United had a 1 1 draw against Harini. Right. Um, Pahang 2-0 against Down Forces, Sabah a draw against Selangor, and Terengganu a draw against Timbaland, whilst we won entirely undeserved 1-0 against Perak. I don't know what to make of that, to be honest. I thought we didn't deserve it. And that was due to tactical errors on my behalf, but also um, overall performance was a bit lackluster. Which might just have to do with the unhappy leader of the team. Due to the fact that we do not have a replacement for our goalkeeper. That said, this guy's improving. So, yeah. Maybe he'll be better in the future. It does seem to still talk to me, though. We'll see how it turns out. To be fair, we could probably praise his training already here. Doesn't really get any further, does it? His mood. Well played, sir. No, doesn't improve. This is the maximum so far. Because he is considered to be unhappy, which means most likely Nomen Ankun's mood won't improve over quite good either. No, it does. A little bit at least. So uh, we have that. Well, um, the best I can think of now is either we find a goalkeeper, a really good one, at least on paper, that would replace the uh, Faisal issue, or Chinsiusum makes a comeback, which is, well, likely to happen in the future, given that he'll be out two to six weeks, so uh, we can just play him at some point. And two weeks is not that far away. We have a few important matches here, but we will need to m make do with Mod Faisal. And then there's also obviously the prospect of next season. We don't know yet if Chinsiusum is a good idea to re uh, be resigned. Far away in America? Okay. Okay. Sure. All right. I, I don't know what far in America means. Is this some sort of song that I should be aware of? Maybe. Well, I'm uneducated, I guess. So, what do we do now? Well, next match. Uh, well, considering the position in the league. Alright, have a look at that again. Wasn't there a news message here? Alright, you can see it here. So, goal difference is the best in the league so far. Um, Of Chordity. Ours is where 15 is not... Uh, well, it's not far off. So. 
That should work. By default, I expected us to be in top spot. That tells you a lot already. And um, there's a bunch of teams that are way worse than us. Yeah, okay. I will watch it later. Yes. <laughs> All right, all right, it's a song. I expected as much. Okay, thank you very much for educating me. So, like, I'm, be, I'm just being half sarcastic. <laughs> I, I don't know, there's probably so much to be educated about in football throughout the decades. I don't know if I can uh, grasp even remotely half of it. Even if you give me all the input. Well, Going back to this, so we are in second place, there's a seven point gap, we have played 16 matches, so there's still 10 left, seven point gap in 10 matches is not impossible, but you know, likelihood is, um, it's about as likely as Chirinala showing up in the stream and not punching a pipe straight. On my face, so that's just how it is. Not funny. Well, a, a bit, a bit, but that's what it's for. That sticker. So I, I guess I will just keep it at that. No. All right. Um, now I'm a dog. That's how it works. <laughs> this is great. Uh, well, so, so much for the league. Uh, thank you very much for cheering me up. There's also a competition overview here, so maybe we can have a look at that. We uh, will enter the group stage of the AFC Champions League um, pretty soon. I, I won't even comment on that. It's just, it's just not fair. But Thank you very much for reminding me. We were knocked out of the Shoot PPL IFA. We won that one. That was the start of the season match. And we will enter uh, the other cup competition, the Piala Mal Malaysia, fairly soon. Facing armed, armed forces. In fact, very, very soon. There's a four day gap, and then we will see armed forces. So, what do we do there? Well, given that the majority of our players seems to be fairly tired due to heavy match load, I expect that we can give them all a rest or for maybe two days and then hopefully they will at least not have high susceptibility to injury. So we'll do that. Down here, not much of an issue. And well, as you can see, some players do come back in time. All right, what else can we do? Well, we can have a look at armed forces at some point. So let's have a, have a look at the manager first. He likes to play a control possession style in a 4-4-2, it seems. Does that correspond with the tactic? Sure. That 4-4-2. Controlled possession, okay. Mm. Good to know. Seems to be a balanced mentality, at least that's what it says here. And it seems like these two are fairly fast, yet again. And we don't know enough about the rest. So, depending on how the 442 is set up and how the strengths are, we need to do two. Yeah, he, he's a very good tackler. Well, share with us. Did it involve the red card actually? Well, de depending on the composition of the skill of the players on the pitch and how they play, we are um, supposed to try to find a weakness in their lineup, right? So we will try to do that. And that physical session needs to go away. Immediately. Oh, great! Fantastic start! Congratulations! Welcome to FM! <laughs> Seriously? Wow. We went through these last stream, right? Um, 
Where was I? I wanted to do something. What did I want to do? Training. I'm not that tired just yet. Where is it? Calendar. Thank you. That, that physical session is overdoing it. We could use a team bonding session though. Okay. By the way, um, talking about Shadow Strikers, given that you all seem to be insist that a Shadow Striker must be a striker, I thought I'd uh, set him on finishing training. I think I did that a stream or two ago, but still worth mentioning. With a 7-1. Ouch. Well... <laughs> that's uh... I, I guess there's a lot of room for improvement, so you can certainly see the gains once they will arrive. M maybe concentrate on that 7 part. I'm sure you'll get it done. Like, honestly, it, it will buff out. Just uh, give him time and maybe... I mean, you scored a goal. Hmm. Ah, okay. Okay. Misunderstanding on my side. Alright. Well, in that case, probably they won't be the worst in the league after all. Oh, seven one. So. Now that Azri Hadi has a new face. And we put him in a mentoring group, I think, last time. Yeah, here. Yeah. It's actually there. By, by how much and how did it go? Three days out. We do concentrate in this formation, which is fine with me. The only issue is Zacharias Anchorman. Um, well, familiarity. I think you'll get it in time. No, that's not. That's not that. Yeah, okay. That's not that much with the penalty. So, um, that stuff can happen. That stuff can also happen. I just recall. You know what match was it? That old draw. Was it this one? The one against Harini? Yeah, the one against Harini. Where Elba Chakzel managed to miss a penalty in minute 89. Just to be subbed off and replaced by Oleg's right. They had also missed a penalty immediately in minute 93. I remember that match. I, I, I don't think I ever witnessed something like this, at least in the last three installments of Football Manager. Uh, yeah. So I can, in a way, I can understand the feeling, I think. In that case, it was about a draw, and in your case, it was, well, it was also about a draw, just the other direction. But whatever. You get the chest. Jason Singh is wanted by KL Rovers for loan. How about no? Then again, he could play for, for KL Rovers until the end of the season. And we can stick to what we have on the wing uh, side. How long does Hartley's contract run? Until the end of 27. So... I guess we can think about if we want to keep Harsey or not. Mm, good question. Oh, yeah, that's, that's down here. So, uh, maximum of six foreign players, five foreign players in the starting 11. Uh, so, no, that's different. I think it's, it's more lenient if I see that correctly. Maximum of five foreign players in the starting 11 seems new. Or is it? Yeah. No, it's a, it's the same. Never mind. My bad. See who who needs another league rules anyway. 
But good question. So it's the same. Hmm. Well, now I think somebody told me once that I should um I should replace the penalty kick take uh, kick takers um depending on their body language. Who was that again? And more importantly, did you? All right. So I guess bad luck. Okay. How can we increase team cohesion? Well, we already do. Jason Singh is left footed, yes. He's left footed and that's why he plays on the left. Also because he's a natural there. Um, if he was... Hmm, well, there, there's an issue with that, um, with that finishing of his. Um, I think it's very easy to comprehend. Where the hell is he? Here. He's a very good finisher. Same as Baru on the other side, by the way. He, he's also 7 or an 8, if I recall correctly. But the issue with that finishing is, it also comes with 4 points of long shots. So, great. Uh, shoot more often is probably still off, because otherwise he will, uh, he will shoot from outside the penalty area. Or we need to get him into the penalty area on a repeated basis. So what do, what do I want to do with that? Not that much. If he was an inside forward, for example. Yeah, well, a, a bit low is... Um, that's a fairly, a fairly interesting way to phrase it. Let's compare him to Harsi for a cycle, uh, second. The overview, of, I think, um, here disaggregates this rather nicely. He's fast. He has good physicality um, in comparison to Harsi. Um, his mental stats aren't that bad, and certainly better than Harsi's apparently, and well, the defending is uh, rather rubbish on both. That said, Harsi is technically gifted, has good attacking uh, stats apparently overall, and decent vision. Jason Singh doesn't. In detail, and I will specifically stick to a winger on support now, because that's what they play. Well, so uh, I guess we can argue that the technical skill of Chase and Singh, with the exception of the crossing and the dribbling, and maybe the finishing, is rather low. Seven points of passing is not horrible. He's an 18-year-old. Give him some time. But it's not impressive. And the same is true on the mental side. Off the ball movement and work rate are fairly low. He's not a bad person. So um, maybe the positive personality will help um, to, to compensate for some of this. We will see in, in, in the, I'd say, maybe medium term. I don't know. Give him two or three years. Some stuff needs to buff out and he will improve. I just don't know how, by how much. <laughs> I don't know if this is politically appropriate, but I, I think we'll just keep it there. And in this case, it's all right. Um, hopefully, he, he's not a person of color in real life. Otherwise, um, I want to sincerely apologize. But we made a joke about the about the portrait, right? All right. Uh, well. So on the physical side, though, Chase Singh is much, much better, um, as you can clearly see here. I expect that to at least um, remain that way. So that's a positive thing. Now, how do we get him introduced into the squad? Well, either we play him for the remainder of the season and Harsi's contract does run out. So. We could theoretically just let Harsi leave. He's 25 now. He won't develop much. On the other hand, there's worse players than Harsi in this squad for sure. Not bad, necessarily. In fact, the technical skill overall is very impressive for this level. Yes, the pace. Yes, the stamina. Yes, the balance. So what do we do with that? I don't know. I didn't decide yet. So I'm, I'm open to suggestions. Obviously a professional player that is level-headed is also very welcome and I want him to play. 
So then again, Harsi, for example, never really made an impression in training that wasn't positive. So don't really know what to do there. He's not to be blamed for, I don't know, bad performances in training or bad character or something. It says balanced. Um Could, could. That might be one idea, yes. Then again, you wanted Elbert to play there from from time to time, and uh, you see, well, we're kind of running in circles. So I still expect also one or two of them will be hurt sometimes. That just happens. But Christopher, for example, did play on the right wing recently, if I recall correctly. Uh, yeah, well. He's not a bad player either. We're talking about players on a fairly similar level so far. That said, Christopher as well as Harsi are um, 25 and above. Baru is the same. That's not necessarily a player to be expelled from the club though. They still can be here. It's fine. Their performances have been great overall too. So Baru's performances, for example, have dropped a little bit ever since that uh, great goal scoring spell at the start of the season. 7.14 in aggregate now in the league. RC, 7.03 in aggregate in the league. That's not bad. Jason Singh barely played so far, but, uh, you know, three matches, 7.2, so not much to say. Um, other than that's all right. Vandal Pekka on paper, well, the five appearances were 6.82. Um, it's a susceptibility to injury that uh, wants me to, to get rid of him, really. Not even the lack of development, I think. That one we could sit out, in theory. But the susceptibility to injuries, I shouldn't have done that. And uh, to a degree, that's also um, a fair assessment of Chin Siu Sun. We got really lucky. He has a good personality. But the susceptibility to injuries will break us at some point. As it did right now. And whom did I forget? I thought I forgot somebody. Don't we have another winger somewhere? Well, anyway. Oh no, I wanted to look at the mentoring groups. That that was it. Give me a second. Um, I also want to note that Harsi still is influenced by Chin Siu Sum, by Mod Fasile and by Van Lal Pekaguit. In a light way, but he is influenced. No. Olex is in the striker group, and he will remain there. Because otherwise the striker group doesn't work anymore. And um, Juan has this trait, gets into opposition area. I think it's a fair uh, trait to have on Elbok as well as on Olex. So I want him to, well, to give it to them. So for Olex to in inherit it. And Elbok probably won't get it anymore. But I'm not sure if this influence um, estimate here does also include influence that um, leads to inheritance of traits. I, I just don't know. So if you know, please let me know. Too much knowing. And Juan Seven has this wonderful um, personality of being a mercenary. I will happily sacrifice one point of ambition and one point of professionalism on him for two or three points of loyalty. Because at the end of his contract, this 130 euros per week will not persist. So I, I expect him to, I don't know. He will probably get in the in the 600s or something. He's a mercenary after all. He might also want to leave immediately. And I don't see that um, being good for the club. I think it would be a good idea if we could uh, keep him. So from that perspective, I think it's vital that we mentor him. But if we want to mentor him, we want him to be in a group that can do with this trait. So now you can probably see why I set it up that way. It's not because I necessarily need the trait on these two. It's because they can deal with it. It's all right on them. Because they are strikers after all, right? There's reasons to have them in the penalty area. In Elbox's case, the physicality and uh, the somewhat tolerable finishing. And in Oleg's case, well, the very good finishing and hopefully the physicality at some point. That said, he also has fairly good mentals. So being in the box is fine.
Uh, sure. They both get significant influence from them. But as you see, Jason Singh also gets significant influence. And I, I think that didn't change, but I don't want their personality or traits on Jason. That seems like a, a bad idea. So the, the quite simple assessment from my perspective is these two, Jason Singh as well as uh, or Singh, I don't know how to pronounce it, as well as Zachariah, they are not old enough. That's the biggest issue. And that's all there is to it to me. They're not old enough. We should be concerned if we pair them with somebody that shouldn't uh, influence them in a negative way. This is already concerning. To a degree. True. But as I said, I don't know if the trait is included in that. I always interpreted this as only affecting personality. So I think they inherit the traits anyway. And also I think this um this scale is um not very precise. It might be that the, that this is a text representation of a chance between um 0% and 100% or I don't know um a maximum of progression basically a maximum of inheriting traits or whatever um if it affects that at all so it might be that none actually is 0.5 percent per month or something and i don't want that none might not be zero but i can tell you because i don't know the code for that so i'd rather keep it safe or play, play it safe here. That's usually how I do it. Um, the result obviously will hopefully be that these two might turn fairly professional and he might turn fairly professional too at some point. Um, hopefully it's not a long way for him, but who knows. And then we can keep them and they will get increased mentoring uh, duties the longer they uh, remain at the club, obviously. Because at some point uh, they will be old enough. But that's seven years out. So. You know, might take some time. In the meantime, we will probably need a replacement for Chin Siu Sum, for example, um, another fairly pro player, or just try to replace them one by one, if we find an appropriate target. But don't want to rush it. We have a working squad. It's like, I'm not in a hurry to replace them all, all um, of a sudden. Right? So, I hope that helps a little bit. Or at least I can, uh, I, I was able to express why I do it that way. That might also be an issue with extending his contract. Hmm. His finishing and long shots went up, also the technique. By the way, it still says here that he needs better challenges, so... That might come back and bite us anyway. At which point is he a good finisher? Just asking. Like, honestly asking. From, from your perspective. How far do we need to go? And at what point can I put him on acceleration and pace training? Or should I put him back to passing? From like from the perspective of um, being a bit of sarcastic, or so according to the attributes, he is yes. Well, according to this, he pretty much resembles what I expect of a shadow striker. I did not necessarily expect the goals, but they come, you know. Usually, they come around with it. And the four assists are not that bad either. He does play more risky passes after all. So I, I don't want to go down the playmaker discussion again. We we had that. We got that covered, right? Um, but even if we play him as a shadow striker, there's some reasoning. Um, or there's a reason for him to train the passing in the vision. It's still part of the role. Well, even though the vision here is not marked as primarily important. 
Well, it's still part of the role to play more risky passes. Now, to be fair, um, I can also see the appeal in training his heading and bravery again. He does get into the area. I see. Okay. Um, there's also an argument to be made that acceleration and pace are very important on a player like his. <laughs> no. Not by a landslide. He needs another 1,480 days. So, that might take a while. Has no caps yet. No youth caps either. Not sure if he will get them. Still in perfect morale. Well, what we could do is we look at Shadow Striker and we really just go by the, by the bottom attribute. The only question I have is do we include the heading? Honest question. Do we include the heading? Because if we include the heading, then a bravery and heading it is. I'm okay with that. I just don't want anyone to expect me to train him in, in passing if, as long as the, the heading and the bravery are lower. If we want him to score goals after getting into these, into these uh, jumping and uh, heading dual situations all the time. And we know that he does. Like, it's just what he does. Probably shouldn't decline the other stuff there. Well, let's go back at this. Where is it here? So maybe we can get this to a 7 or an 8. At, at one point, there should be some sort of um, catalyst, catalyzing effect, I think, the way to, uh, to phrase it. Because if he scores more from the heading and bravery, well, then he gets better ratings and then he gets even more experience, so that should work. And we know that he wins the, the jumping duels anyway. Go away. I will share the wonderful um wonderful short um these days in German sadly, so I will t uh, sh uh, share it with me later. Um about meetings. And uh why one has too many meetings. That certainly hit the bell. Transfer deadline is in one week. Okay, thank you very much. So, shall we talk about transfer too, or shall we do the match first? Your decision. Uh, that I will not deal with. I will go for it myself. Thank you very much. Go away. Bye. But let me know. Are you more interested in a match, or are you more interested in um, in dealing with uh, getting play uh, rid of players? Apparently, more interested in kit better. Well, okay. So I will have a look at the under nineteen. I think there were some players that were wanted at one point, and sadly that disappeared. Never mind. Neither here. We did try to offer one love Pekka to some clubs recently. They want him at the end of his contract. I want him off the... Oh no. Will he join them? Is this done already? Not sure. You want new players? Mm. Boom. What new player? Well, we could use a goalkeeper. How about Mot Jalil? I think we tried that, right? We 
we could bring him in, but he's not much better than what we have. So I don't think uh, I don't think Elbuck will accept this as an improvement. Also, I think at this point I will actually start to buy. No, didn't we have a scouting package already? Did I do that? Yeah, we know how scouting package going. Okay, so that's good. Hopefully, we will get a little bit more information about players, at least within our own league in the future. Yaya yeah, yeah, still wants to leave uh, on loan. We didn't find any one interested in him. So, uh, he wants more quality in depth. If I, how do you pronounce it anyway? Depth. Th. Th is hard for Germans, at least for me. Um, I think he wants, where is it? It's in dynamics. Feels there is a lack of uh, sufficient quality depth in the goalkeeping department. I need a coaching course for this. And, well, there's only Norman Ancoon that agrees with him. Okay, thank you very much. Um, that's, like, it is unfamiliar. We don't have the same sound in, in German. So we need to learn that in school. Like, uh, everybody's literally talked. Uh, taught to uh, to pronounce it with uh, biting your tongue <laughs> basically <laughs> and it always feels uncomfortable to a degree because we're not that familiar with it at least my perspective right mm. so he did come with a similar um issue already recently and my issue with it is well it came up after um Shinsyusum hurt himself. Because we promoted this goalkeeper up to the to the senior squad to sit on the bench. So it might not have come up at all. Snake's tongue. That's a... Well... I, I was just thinking, I'm sure a snake's tongue has its advantages, but then again, I didn't want to go into the imaginary girlfriend territory again. So let's not talk about it, if that's all right. It does not seem to be family friendly and age appropriate. Where was I? My thought process. Oh, well. Um, so shall we have a goalkeeper? Um, sure, we could sign one. Like anyone up here that has some quality on paper, maybe this guy. Because the other ones are not that impressive, are they? That's just, I, I don't know. Doesn't feel like they are useful. This one. Wouldn't be that bad. We it says we should only sign him as a last resort. Why is that? Twenty-one year old Spaniard. Isn't that expensive either? No, no, I will not feature that clip. We want the Canadian Where was the Canadian guy? He's not even on the list anymore, something happened. He on this list? Apparently not. Yeah, yeah, I, I realize, I remember, but he's not on the list. And I think he wanted, either he wanted too much money or they wanted too much money for him. Something like that. He's not on it anymore, that's it. Sorry. Can't help it. 
I thought about that too. Oh, he might have been listed off alone. Yeah, there he is. My bad. Uh, he's also listed for transfer for a mere 4.9k. But I wanted him on loan and they didn't want to, to let him leave on loan. I will happily try that again. That's the fun part. They are not willing to allow him to leave due to not having enough goalkeepers in the squad, but they want him to be sold. Yeah. In general, for loan though, there are a few. No, oh, that's not a goalkeeper though. Yeah. Here. We could loan a goalkeeper from KL Rovers. How about that? He's definitely better than whatever rots on our bench right now. So we can try that. Sure! Alright. Yes, that's okay. No, that's not okay. He can play against your own team and we want to be able to terminate this loan. Let's just bring him in. We don't even know the personality, do we? Fairly determined, that's alright. I'm okay with it. That should be considered one and a half star territory. He's not very good. He will not play if we don't hurt somebody else. And Chinsu Sun will be back anyway. And we don't pay him, so that's... We can tolerate that until the end of the season, right? Maybe it resolves the issue. Thank you very much. Happy to see that. So hopefully that'll work. Now we just need to defeat armed forces. As well, with, with a very good goal difference, preferably. Great. I'm not sure if we want a professional contract on him. For now, I'm quite happy with the youth contract. Also, he's out on loan. Let's keep him there. Which reminds me. So, the transfer window will close at some point. And we have the possibility to put some of these players um, to... What's, what the, what's the name? SSTMI or something? SSTMI. I'm not that bad. Um, yes and no. I have one promise here that needs to be dealt with. That's a player from the under-21s. And in the case of Amirul, Yaya, ya, Yaya, Daya, maybe, maybe Yaya. Um, who knows? Well, it counts as fulfilled uh, so far because we tried to loan him out. I'm seriously considering to loan him out to SSTMI for the rem remainder of the season. That said, I don't know if it will help him much. Where was he? Here. Because for now, playing in the under-21s as a central defender... Well, I wanted to say it's not like this is horrible, but actually it is on a professional player. Strength did go up though. So I think we will loan him out. And given that they are not willing to pay for him, we will just put him there, right? Oh, he's too old. So we toss him to Sarabak? Because apparently he still gets match ratings there for some weird reason. I know, the club should be formally disbanded or something. But if I look at club info, affiliates, Saravak, don't we have a player there? No, we don't. So let's bring up this guy. Madnor. That is ours. Yeah. So we have a player here, after all. And apparently he made 18 appearances and got a rating. It's not in here for some reason. But he, he is this simulated these days? 
even though there is no league that they play in. So he, he might have developed in a certain way after all, or at least gotten match experience, whatever that means. From that perspective, I think we can put him here. On the other hand, uh, it will, uh, well, he, he will not play in the under-21s anymore. Not sure if that match experience is worth anything, though. So to fulfill that promise, maybe it's a good idea to put him there, right? Or we try to find another loan move first, but I doubt it. No, I don't want a striker anymore. We have enough attacking players right now. Thank you. Okay. I also want to get rid of Van La Pica, but that will not happen anytime soon, I think. Let's make it... Oh no, I can't offer him out again. Why? Huh. Alright, it is what it is. But there are no other promises other than the Yaya one. Match load did go down, this is great. What's the next match? Against Nigeri Sambilan. They are 10th in the league, I think armed forces are 12. So, this is where the gamble start. We want to win the league match, we absolutely want to get into the next uh, round in the cup. It's additional money, we need the cash. No doubt about that. What's more important? Cup or league? I don't have a strong opinion on it. So, you tell me. What do you think is more important? And, subsequently, how much are we willing to rotate? League? So... In the cup? Um, I can only try to derive it. Um, I can only try to de derive it from last season, and last season I think, if we, uh, if I recall correctly, at some point uh, there was what was it? It was the Piala Malaysia, right? That we played last season, first round, second round. No, yeah, first round and quarterfinal. I think uh, we got like ten or twenty k. Because um, the the income was shared. Do we? Isn't this the losers' cup? Because we were thrown out of the other. Or one is one is the overall uh, Malaysian cup and the other one is the league cup or something. I'm not sure, but this one is the, the one that we play now. Competitions is here. Um, the one that we play right now, the Piala Malaysia, this is the first round. There's nothing prior to it. And it seems to come with all of the clubs that are in the league. Plus two additions from below. Pahang in this case. Oh no, Pahang is in the league of Malaysia. Perak, I wanted to click on Perak. They're also in the Liga Super. What happened? My brain! Manyung City is not in the in the Liga Super. Okay, Tambunar for now. Hey, okay. Yeah, they got relegated too. But Manyung City were not relegated. I think they were just drawn into this for some reason. So this this is what, uh, the cup we're looking at. So it it's not really a losers cup. I called it that way last season, but I suspect this is just a League Cup with two editions from Liga M3. I don't know, we would need somebody that knows about this stuff firsthand. Hmm. Where can I look at this though? That works. So last season Well, but this works too. This was last season. There we had Bukitambun, Cushing. 
Harini, Sarawak United, we got thrown out in the first round. And I think Har Harini were, were down in the other league last season, yeah. So it's it's the same, more or less. I think we also, we had a look at it. It's um the, the whole um 14 teams up here and two added, added teams from uh, the Liga M3. And they seem to be chosen by random. So, whatever it is, we earn money there. But if you say the league is more important and you're more or less in agreement, well, so he can play in the league and in the, in the cup because we don't have anyone else so far. In this position, in that case, no, I don't think we do. This is the second cup. I, I was just confused. So there's nothing there. Um, also, Mustafa. Why Mustafa, specifically? He's a backup player after all. Well, Amamu might play. I think Amamu is... Um, is he suspended in the league? Wasn't there something like this? I'm blind. Yeah, but, but for the cup match. Never mind. Okay, you are correct, apparently. Um, I thought he was suspended. Yeah, so he can play, obviously. Sure. Um, so we can play those that need sharpness, or we might actually start Olex. Why not? Or you can play Chase and Sink, for example. That's a 4-4-2, four, four, though. Christopher is also back. So maybe give the playing time to Christopher. He needs to get back into shape. Jason Singh is on the bench. He will get some playing time at some point. Uh, Zakaria doesn't need to be on the pitch in that case. He needs a rest. Well, he does not necessarily need a rest, but at some point somebody will uh, need a rest. Um, Malik can play. That's the wrong position. Who did play there? Didn't we sign somebody? The old guy. Where's the old guy? That's Mahazir. Mahazir. Mahazir is not on heavy match load. Well, neither on medium, so I think he can make an appearance. Why not? So I guess I would put Mustafa on the bench in that case. Uh, the goalkeeper from the under 21s. Yeah, I think it was his name. Here. Sorry, that's that's a tiredness. I, I warned you on the Discord. Okay. He's past his peak. No surprises. Mm, but we can put Malik here as a Segundo Volante today. Shadow Striker, I'm not sure if I have a replacement. Out here... Well, Baru's match loot is medium. Do we have anyone that could do with playing on a right wing today? I mean, Van Lalpeka theoretically is a bit in two days. Has nothing to play out here. I do not necessarily see someone. True. So we play him here. As an inverted winger on attack, actually. Why not? That's That would include two attacking... Uh, well, two inverted wingers on attack. That go against a 4-4-2. That's, technically speaking, not too stupid. I will also take off the cross towards target forward.
And well, in this setup, I expect us to do low crosses. So hopefully the opposition does not have good jumper. Uh, well, actually, hopefully the opposition does have good jumpers. Yeah. We wouldn't float crosses against these anyway, so that's a good fit. Which means we just need somebody in attacking midfield. An inverted finger seems to be appropriate for him, despite not knowing the position, but at least he knows how to play the role, in, to a degree. What's, uh, what was the instruction? Take fewer risks. Yeah, he has bad passing. Shoot less often. I still think shoot less often is appropriate here. I think it's even on on Bauru, if I recall correctly. Despite that, he made a few goals because he's a good dribbler. So he made it very close to a goal, and at some point, well, you know. Dribble more, yes, cut inside, yes, get further forward, yeah, that's all right too. Christopher, inverted winger on attack, I'm not so sure in this formation. I think we wanted him to be used in another way in the future, because we changed the formation a little bit, tried to um, increase build-up play and likelihood but to succeed, so we will actually also change this. Not like actually did anything wrong, but. I want this to be a little closer together. So in the end, we are left with the decision of the attacking midfielder. Do we have anyone in the under 21s? No? Under 19s. Hmm. Probably not. Well, he certainly looks a lot like Juan from one perspective, but he's a fairly different player. Uh, no, honestly, I don't want to give him the, the game time. I don't think that's appropriate. Usually, we, we would argue Van Lalpeka with his core position after all. Come to think of it, he's highly susceptible to injury and we expect him to leave, right? We do not care much about this resource anymore. Let's do it like this and bring bring Juan with us. Make sure. Which reminds me, he can play. He should play on the right, but can also play on the left. Uh, well, probably Ankun as well as Zakaria here. Ahmad Nizam. This guy, Akrula stays at home. Who did play more recently? Arcee's performances haven't been good. So we'll bring Baru. And then, obviously, we need a keeper. Uh, this one. That's a one of the... That's a better one of the two. Whatever. We'll use him. So Vandal Pika will make an appearance. Which reminds me that we should probably set him up in a specific way. I can live with Shadow Striker on him. Oh, that's the passing risks and stuff. Oh, he can't shoot. He's no good crossing and tackling. Yeah, probably don't do that. All right. So. This all is good. I will do the rest of the instructions in the pre-match view. Also this. One thing that I noticed recently is that the anchor man darts forward even more, at least if it's Zakaria. If that persists, uh, we have an issue on our hands. Okay. So we said low crosses. What else is there to say here? No, we don't know that much about them. That seems like a bad dribbler with bad first touch, bad bravery, bad strength. Close down and fall him off the pitch. Right? So that would face a turnover, uh, face, force a turnover 
uh, of the ball in a wide area of the pitch. Is it similar here? We don't know. This guy has good tackling. Passing seems to be, and might be a six or a seven. Who knows? Vision's fairly good. We, we just can't judge from this uh, assortment of attributes. First touch decent though, so closing him down will probably not help much. We might want to mark him out of the match. I have no idea about the off-the-ball movement though. That said, strength and jumping reach are rather low. So chances are that we maybe we can mark him out of the match at least a little bit. Nasharudin is a good passer. Same here, off-the-ball movement, I don't know. But at least the strength side is not good. So we try to do the same. This one, sadly this one has good dribbling. Crossing seems to be low though, passing even lower. We know that he's right-footed, so we do that. Uh, first touch, 4 to 11. It might be a 6 or a 7. Composure is very low with 1 to 5. So triggering the press but not tackling him hard. What's with the foot on this guy, by the way? Nah, I'd rather not instruct anything here. Then we have these guys. He's left-footed only, so that's an easy one. Anything else? Not much to say, is there? I don't want to press the defenders all the time. That is not appropriate from the perspective of our formation. But it seems like we pressed these two out here. So from that I derive right now that our approach is to trap them on the outside actually in this 4 4 uh, against this 4 4 2. That might seem a little bit weird, but this is where we press the players. So we also w um, know that one of them is a bad dribbler out there. So we show them to the outside. Okay. Which also means, by the way, that either pushing up a little bit higher to decrease the space out there or to lower the defensive line could be appropriate. Do you guys have an opinion on that? And what do you think about it? I will have a look at these guys. So we know that one. Well, I don't think we need to do anything in particular with him. He's a very good jumper, and also very bad on his left foot. Passing seems fairly decent. That's an issue. And his passing is horrible. So we know that we will not mark him tightly because he's not dangerous. That said, this Garrett Gadid guy is um, an issue. What we could do is we could set Elbog on his heels. Yes, Elbog is, well, Elbog has lower jumping most likely. Strength, he might be on par. That's not Elbog, it's Rai. No, never mind. In that case, I'm not so sure. I guess we still try to we try to mark him out of the game. Is that really what we want to do? I guess we do. So we still try to do that. That won't work. I get it. Triggering a press on him is maybe the best we can do. And we will tell Olex to man mark him either way. Wrong. This one. All right. Do you have any other suggestions? I should probably set up the prediction. Let's not forget about that.
Well, we have three options. So um, I'll put it on two minutes. Okay. So we also want to go through the middle against the 442, I think. That's sad. Let me look at that again. I didn't think about it just yet. Central defenders seem fairly good overall. This white player does not look impressive. Neither does this one on the defensive side. How are these two? Very bad tackling. Very, very bad tackling on his Mavi. He's a good tackler though. I think I'll leave it as it is. And they need to figure that out themselves. But if we see that nothing is created... That'll come immediately, but well, thank you for requesting it. And in fact, I did snooze it twice now. So we have pre roll ads on right now. Let me do that first. Cheers! Yeah, I'll, I'll do a buff from Greg too. In a second. First of all, we'll do this. Some advantage, get a result. Do we try to ease the pressure on these? Not sure. Maybe cautious encouragement. Usually that works. Somehow. A little ad break. BRB, I will also do a bathroom break. Welcome to our cup match in the League Cup, I guess. Against Armed Forces, first leg at home, first round, entirely fresh cup. And entirely young, hungry and fresh players, because this is not our standout squad. We do have some of the old dogs on the bench though. Zakaria like will probably not agree with being an old dog. So, can we get a result today? How many supporters are in the stadium? 338. That's fairly low. I'm sorry, could get a yellow? No? That's not something that I wanted to um, remember doing in the future. Nice save mode, Fazal. I wanted to remember looking at referees' performances to find out how many cards they usually give. That's a thing in Football Manager after all. Nice. He does go a little bit wide. Ushindi, that's the anchor man, by the way. One Lal Pekka, one Lal Pekka with a sh What? The hurt one Lal Pekka, good, with no long shot skill whatsoever, hits the back of the net immediately. I just... But why? He had the space, he had the time, and apparently he also has the skill. I don't get it. His long shots is free points. <laughs> True. We are happy about it though. And it all started with a uh, with a ball won by Azri Hadi. 
But you saw the position of the Anchorman too, right? That is very much concerning. What's he doing up front? Right? That's very interesting creative defending so far. Wow. Dangerous. Let's have a look at these. He can't jump. Neither can he. These two can jump. So I think our approach today is to avoid crosses, right? Stop them as soon as possible. We are trying to press on the wing anyway. Obviously these set pieces are really dangerous from that perspective. But the goalkeeper has a good day so far. Let's hope it remains that way. Exactly. Roll it out. That's fine. Van Dijk pick up with a good pass and his four points of passing apparently. Christopher, not bad. Oh, Abdul Malik. What the hell? Best chance in the match. I like the fact that they retain possession if they don't uh, spot an opportunity. There were a lot of obviously in that situation, so it's a bit annoying, but on the other hand... I'd rather for us to keep the ball, unlike this exact moment. Yes, out wide, now get it! That didn't work. Luckily, Ismail is not known as a goal scorer. We know that by experience. And I don't think that was needed, but thank you very much for being around. Shall we give any feedback to the players? And if so, what? We will demand more. That's why we usually do it. Nah. Didn't go well with them. Get it. He doesn't. Goal kick. Okay. That is not rolled out, but a sh sure. We are. We do. You were um, off screen. I, I think. Yeah, I don't know. You probably switched device or something. Even that you were away for five minutes. But we do. Or at least we're trying to. Good save. The setup is... Mm, like this for now. We are trying to force some um, turnovers out there. Because we... Well, we suspect that at least one of the two out there is susceptible to losing the ball. Given that we close down both, they might have bad first touch. That said, we play fairly narrow in attack. But it, it, that shouldn't matter much. Maybe we can widen it a little bit. Could also just be the shape of the pitch. Our pitch, but no.
That's good. Can you get it? Yes. Nice, Christopher. That's a very ambitious ball. It was a good idea, to be fair. Quite contrary to this one. Hardy, don't lose it. That's alright. If this is a short, simple pass, I will be impressed. Vandal Pekka on the ball again. Oh, not bad. To the left, yes. Uh, I didn't expect that one. Great! Oh, he hit the crossbar! The goalkeeper didn't even react. That could have gone in. From that position. Uh. All right, they score. So that happened from the outside again. Let's have a look at it. Well, wide area. So a throw in. We try to press the player. Not really. That's Amamu. He loses Mod Rosman. And I don't know what Mars is doing there. I guess not much. That's a goalkeeper's mistake, isn't it? Should have gotten that. I'm not sure if we have tech, uh, issues tactically or if this is a lack of skill more than the rest. So if you see anything on the tactical side, please let me know. He doesn't track back. Not enough. And these white players are not included here, or they don't do much. That's what comes to mind, at least for me now. So yeah, actually we want you to follow the midfielder. Obviously we, he will be drawn out of position, same on the other side. But that forces the white players... Well, either... Well, we know that Ismavi can't cross. He never could. I don't know about Bukhari. He might be a very good crosser. That said, we show him to the weaker foot. So if he gets closed down, maybe that will also rest uh, yeah, restrain that ability somewhat. But this... This might be useful in counter-attacking situations, but it's dangerous defensively. And we gotta make sure that we don't concede first. Nice. Now, Christopher, where will you go with that? Nowhere. Great. That's a very ambitious ball again. Dangerous. Amamu seems to have issues on the pace side of this. Question is... Does the other central defender... No. He's even slower. Amamu's also not entirely sharp, if I recall correctly. He didn't... He, he was on and off the last few matches, and prior to that he was injured. We 
to try a lower block. What if we try a lower block and lure them in a little bit more? How fast are they? Four to nine pace. He's fairly fast. Same. Same. So it might be one central defender that is uh, somewhat slow. Okay, set piece. We'll encourage them to draw so far. And I think I will take off Vandal Pekka in the second half. Bring on the regular. Some of the argument could be made for Amamu, by the way. He does not seem to be in a good shape either. Oh, will he get that? Yes. Alright. Malik has not in on the ball. Not bad. Turn around. Oh, man. Oh. What a chance. So, this is how not in. This is Christopher following whom? The winger. And that's Nasha Rudin. That's a midfielder. Shown to wider areas. That's alright. Hmm. Malik loves it into the penalty area. That will be another corner. I can't encourage them right now. Probably the other squad would have gotten that by now. Then again, these might be more motivated. Marzir, yet another corner. Now I can encourage them. Come on, guys. Get one in prior to halftime. That would be great. Nah. Not what I expected. That's the other guys, by the way. Please defend as well. Yes. A 16 year old. Good job. Oh, between two, and Amamu saves the day. That was a last ditch. I'm not even sure if this was a tackle. A last ditch interception, I guess. Five millimeters away from the goal. All right, we face another corner. We got lucky. So that's it for now. What do you guys think? First of all, Valna Pekas. Uh, well, actually, he's not exhausted anymore, but... I don't necessarily want to run him into a, yet another injury. So we will do the Juan thing. And just take it off. Mm. 
The issue is I'm not entirely sure if we can... These guys have first to, uh, good first touch. So chances are we will not uh, first fourth turn was in the middle either. That said, maybe it's a good idea to not show him to a specific area. So I can agree with that, yes. We can do that. That's alright. 6.5 rating on Jason Singh. Well, what did I expect? He plays out of position. Might be a possibility to play Baru. Match loads, medium though. And also, Hardy doesn't have a fun match so far. Not sure if supping on somebody will help much though. Olex Rise on a 6.6 .6 so far. I'm not impressed. Hmm, yeah, Malik's on a 6.5, that's true. He does offer good free kicks. Sure. Let's do that. So that should increase reliability and build up play, right? Theoretically. A lot, actually. Because, um, he's one to receive passes. And he's one to play them. Usually. Okay. Back to the dressing room. What do we tell them? We have to be better in front of the goal. Most of the squad seems to be fired up. He wasn't good enough. Neither was he, that's why we took him off. Jason Singh stays on. We'll tell them that they haven't been good enough. Probably Oleg's right too. Alright. And the rest of them will be encouraged, I think. 7.0 is not that that great. Same here. Change the game, do it. These two come on. I very much am confident uh, about that. Alright, tiny break, and then we'll do the second half. This is a wonderful sticker. Let's go. I, I didn't know that exists. Nice. Okay. He just cleared it. Ooh, Olex, Juan. Go! I have my head around here. Not bad. Pick it up again. Yes. Uh, that, yeah, yeah. I, I expected a cross. He decided otherwise. Oh, Jason Singh with a nice, nice addition of a ball to our game. That was too much. Go, guys. I misclicked. Sorry. That's okay. Corners are dangerous though. We do have 65% possession and good passing completion too. We did have better in recent times. Then again, we also had worse. Amamu defends well in this case. Christopher puts it out. Not into touch though. That's a very good run. Oh. There is a second leg to this. Who 
was that? You gotta be kidding me. Was it his Mavi? His Mavi's crossing, I think, is five. Maybe a four. He's horrible at it. And it's yet again Amamu. So, we could do positive. Or we just go all out attacking with the other formation. It's our own stadium after all. Alright. Enough. Playing time's over. What's the strongest options that we have on the uh, bench? Elbog, Oleg's Reich, and uh, think about his performance. Bakaria. And he will be a Baldwin midfielder in this formation, obviously. So we press really high now. Press a lot. Crosses can be mixed, that's alright. What's with the last substitute? We're in minute 50. I have my doubts. So we will put him on, in, um, on I guess, still inverted winger duty. Could be inside forward, but I don't want to do that. And put him on support instead. Well, that might backfire. Then again, I'm in the mood to take a risk. Let's see if it changes the match. Because the way it uh, went right now, this, this will not work. Get it! Nice one. Sing on the ball. Out on the left. Uh, well, that was the wrong player, but I'm okay with it. Go, 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 go! Goes past him. There's the cross, and that's claimed. By the keeper, sadly. Well, Juan, that is certainly interesting. Also slightly misplaced. Elbug with the dribble. That's intercepted for now. So, did we see a change? Somewhat, maybe. Didn't create any chances just yet. One takes the corner. That's intercepted. Elbuck didn't really jump. Shoot! Don't shoot. Way too late. Hardy. Ankun. Doesn't take the shot this time either. Was not in. Sing. Yeah. Well, it is attacking after all. That's the first time I think we play in a regular 4-2-3-1. Uh, Not with two defensive midfielders, but with uh, central midfielder position. Doesn't seem to change much there. For now. Nice. Oh, Elbuck. Ankun, Christopher, delays play a little bit, back to Ankun, Juan, there would have been a nice opportunity for ball there, into Elbuk Chuck uh, Sale, didn't happen though, that happens on the other hand, that's another corner, corners are not that bad, 
Quan is a good corner taker. The issue is I think they are better in the air. Seeing is this offside. No. Christopher towards Hardy. Ankun. Well, there's a certain urgency, that's true. It's a nice way to phrase it. Nice! Ah, Such a good idea. Amamu, will he go? Yeah. Finds Ankun again, Juan, and Elbak. That should disrupt the formation somewhat. Ankun, sing. Nice. Tobot Juan. Hmm. He was muzzled off the ball there. Yellow card for Sari. Minute 60 something. Not much created. Time for Baru. It's only one goal and we have a second leg. Still annoying though. Also the weather's horrible. Christopher... That cross was... A little hopeful. Zakaria! Oof. I saw that one in. Even though he's not a good shooter. Of course, this man gets to it. Not a bad cross. Amamu intercepts the ball. Alright. They made a substitution. I will look at that immediately. Sure. Now it wastes time. That was well done. Let's see who came on. This one, rope. Or, oh, that's a left back. Dribbling seems to be a little bit on the low side. Frank seems to be a little bit on the low side. We'll do that. That is an attacker, isn't it? Could be that this guy has no positioning and tackling whatsoever. Tess is a wingback midfielder, attacking midfielder. I seem to recall at the top of my head that one player that we faced at some point that came on for a team that played in this position had no skill whatsoever at defending. Let's risk it. I think it was him. So we forced on the uh, first play down the right, if we can. Baru is fresh anyway. Maybe he can make the difference today. Well intercepted. Juan. Yes, wonderful. I'm not sure if I ever said that. He's, he's not good at passing, technically. He does play more risky passes anyway.
Pressure zone? No doubt about that. But they do not seem to be capable to find that much space. Juan, that doesn't work. Ancun, back to Juan. No, oh, it's offside. We do have a second leg though. Away from home. Very, it, it doesn't help us if we concede another goal. That said, if we hurt a player of theirs, get stuck in his own in this formation anyway. Yes. <laughs> That's part of it, or not a, not a formation, the tactic, the overall approach. Nice. He doesn't really run past them because he's too slow. That's a bit of an issue. Too late, isn't it? Apparently not. Okay. They subbed somebody else. Amamu pushed somebody because, well, that's what you do. Decent pass by Zakaria. Hmm. Straight down the right side. It's just a tiny misunderstanding. Get it! Damn it. Too slow. I'm not sure if the goalkeeper's to blame here. Things like may maybe I rotated too much. Shouldn't have done that. They did have enough chances, for sure. Never mind. <sighs> well, that had to happen, right? It deflected off. Who was that? Zakaria. Otherwise, it would have gone straight towards the goalkeeper. Yeah, now he gets a yellow card, that's too late. Good cross, Christopher side netting. And that was offside too, so that's the match. Most likely. Yeah. Well. Good one, Zakaria. There is the space out there. Oh. 
Oh, I need my hat. Yes. Here we go. Good job, Juan. Well done. Also, this doesn't work with the chair. I need to sit like this. Perfect. So, we made it back to a 2-3. One goal different. One goal difference. One goal. Thanks to playing down the right and finding one in the middle of the penalty area after all. Well, Juan? Baru again. That's a match, isn't it? Zakaria down the right again. That's too long. So, we lose. Did any one of you bet on that? Let's have a look. Nope. So, I will delete this. You should get them back. Okay. What did we tell them? I think I'm disappointed. But we also weren't good enough. We'll go if we weren't good enough. For the rest of them, I don't think I have anything in... Uh, like in particular to say, nothing specific so far. We will have a second leg. We can win a second leg. Oh, it was his debut. Oh. And he hates big matches. Yeah, I, I should probably have looked at that. Well, we saw a bit of a rare uh, thing today though. A long shot goal by Van Lalpeka. That's it. Um, I'm starting to get a headache, so I will wrap it up here. Um, maybe, I, I know I said I don't have time on the weekend, but I think I might find some space, maybe, theoretically. So, don't get your hopes up, please, but, you know, if I can make it work, I will do another stream of maybe two hours. We'll see. I will let you know. Thank you very much for watching as always and I hope you have a nice day slash evening. Bye.